It's a time to play as young grandpa. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Taturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotarth into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. I can't wash the blood out. A journal of family history rests on the mantle as if used recently. As if. Wouldn't you know? It's your house. We're not like exploring right now. Liquid courage. Oh my fucking god. A small flask of the old sauce. Liquid courage. A magical elixir to power one's spirit in the face of adversity. Bottoms up. Using this will regain sanity. Which is useful up until the moment I have magic. But maybe they're implying I won't for a while. I have to loop back around to the beginning now. There we go. This part of the library is reserved for the entertaining of the house's more scholarly guests. A simple yet elegant layout affords a quiet drink and conversation. Politely, she asks Edward if there's anything she can do for him. And Edward just starts sprinting around his house like normal people do. It's as if he's possessed. Like a, by a ghost. The ghost being a, a human player playing his video game. I pilot you, man. You are mine. Edward's favorite reading chair faces a healthy, warm fire. No doubt many cold nights are ahead. Alright, so Maximilian's still fully dedicated, even after death. What a not great painting. <laughs> just the, the amount of empty space. Not used at all, just seems underused. Oop, underutilized. Magic pool spell scroll. Is that my... Is that what that one's- oops. Uh. Oh, I don't have magic yet. Right. Is that my symbol over my head regeneration spell? A looming grandfather clock stands ominously in the corner, gazing on the empty room with an almost patriarchal air of its own. The ghost asked Edward to set the clock, but there are no hands on it. Edward must find the clock hands so he can set it properly. Ah, so now the exploring begins. I wonder if Edward is going to show us how to do the weird, like, astrology room puzzle. Closing in on him, I think. We must be near- I feel like we must be near the end of the game. Just because 
it feels like a big like ooh now we're serious moment if i'm suddenly playing as the guy who died at the beginning of the game Edward's curiosity can't leave the mystery alone. He drives himself to uncover the truth behind the mansion and his ancestors. All right, let's start at the bottom, I guess. Be methodical. Really? You live here, dude. I... <laughs> you don't have the keys to your own house. Just steal these clock. Yeah. A large carriage clock sitting in the foyer table. Beautifully crafted, but appears to be stuck with the hand set permanently to 333. Now take them off and make the other one set to 33. It's easy. As Edward nears, the servant stops mumbling to herself and asks him if he thinks the weather will clear up before the solstice. Edward finds the reference to the solstice rather odd and ponders its significance. Nope, got some ammo. With no one living in the house for a long time, it's no wonder the pantry's empty. Edward lives out of the refrigerator, so to speak. No one living here in a long time? You live here, and there are servants here. It just seems strange to me. That's what it said before about the other character. About Alex. Or was it, I'm sorry, that's what it said when we were here as Alex. So it seems odd that it says it when Edward's here too. A grandiose, a grandiose kitchen fireplace with all the amenities of modern fire. It hasn't been used in quite some time. Modern life, not modern fire. He's just not using anything. He doesn't cook at all. The servant notices Edward's presence and comments on the weather. Idle chit chat. If you have all these servants, get one of them to cook. I feel like, like what an underutilization of the space. Edward has never learned the piano, but has not stopped him from hammering away at the keys now and again. It is very therapeutic. Perhaps one day he would learn it properly. Piano was the first instrument my parents tried to get me to learn. An antique cavalry saber, mounted on a display stand, gleams in the moonlight. Like, I suppose I wouldn't mind knowing how to play piano, but... Not the most space-efficient instrument, is it? But I don't really know how to play any instruments, despite attempts at piano, clarinet, and guitar. Did I get, like, an inspect spot here? No, it's probably here. Puttering around with cro the crockery, the... Servant informs Edward that the table has been set for him, just as he likes it. What am I gonna eat, though? Fucking microwave pizza? <laughs> like, apparently he doesn't cook. I'm fighting a lot of bullets. Can I make hands out of them? <laughs> Can I ask them if they've seen clock hands? Courteously, the servant asks if Edward is in good health. How many servants do you need, bro? Is this like some haunting of Hill House stuff where like servants just come with the house? Like their entire their entire family line is infinitely indebted to maintaining a house even if no one lives there and they just stick around forever? I'm always taken aback by that when I hear about like, there being like a groundskeeper to a mansion that nobody even lives in anymore and, I'm, and they just kind of keep maintaining it forever and I'm like, I... Huh. What? What? The master bathroom is woefully spartan and only barely contemporary. It appears to satisfy the most practical of tastes. <gasps> or perhaps someone who has their mindset on other things. It's a very old everything. I can never inspect and get feedback on the nightmarish-looking toilets. 
because they always look. Bleh. Wait, did I check out the other one? It just looks. It, want, it only wants to look at the painting, not the cabinet, which I have gotten something from before, I believe. This pot? Nope. <laughs> I'm prepared for the idea of having to find three separate ha clock hands, or maybe two. So I'm a little worried that I've looked at so much of the mansion and haven't found one yet. So much ammo, though. Oh my god, elephant gun ammo. This room has become a second late night study. Edward has grown accustomed to the ancient feel of this Civil War themed room and feels he can concentrate quite well in it. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet, itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the windows to get inside, but where did he leave the key? Ah, it's locked. It's in here? A journal of family history rests on the bench. Did I read this one earlier? Maybe not. Maybe the maybe we'll even find keys and hands inside them. An old musty book, bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the early history of the Rovois family, dating back before the settlers in this land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Ah, there is. A minute hand. So does the other one have the hour hand? It's just another... I, I could be wrong, but I think that was basically the same description. Maybe a different time period? I cannot combine these. Nah, I probably can't smash the window because there's no emergency. Maybe he'll smash the window once he is actually in danger. Muttering to herself as she works, the servant comments on how the mansion is never really clean. I can't get the blood out! They took my face. She informs Edward that she believes the weather will worsen, and that she hasn't heard of it being bad this bad for many decades. Um. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. An exorbitant and out-of-place stained-glass window ends the hallway. Whoever put it here had eclectic taste and confirms Edward's belief that the mansion... ...is more folly than a real house. More folly? Like it's a performance? A display? Folly. So I don't have the key to the basement or the gun cabinet, but I do have these. Is it in here? I do have the, the minute and hour hand now. The ghost asked Edward to set the clock, and now, with two hands on the clock face, it can be adjusted. Who put those in those books? Maximilian, you did this to him. You made his head explode. He could have never found this book. More. Let's uh, very carefully find everything real quick. 
A loaded revolver is mounted on the wall by means of a display plaque. And now it is mine. All this elephant gun ammo. We'll see if they can give me any incentive to actually use these guns, because the melee weapons are so powerful that why bother usually? Three different ammo types. What is going to happen in your chapter, dude? This sounds like an excellent time to save. A strange leather-bound tome sits closed amidst piles of books and papers. Should Edward pick up the tome? I mean, the answer is basically no. <laughs> Upon the desk was the work of a madman, frantic scribbling on torn notepaper that has somehow weathered the years. Were these Maximilian's ravings laid out in choppy scrawls of ink? Or the testament of humanity's savior, waiting to fuel the battle against the Guardians? So this was Maximilian's office, not Edward's. At least not at originally. He found out about it eventually. Yep, Magic Pool is the energy regeneration spell. And it looks like I get to have all this set up before anyone actually shows up to attack me, so that's good. Hmm. Is it time for bad to begin? Wow, it drank her. And then turned invisible. Well, fuck me. Um. Oh. Yeah. I guess so. Excuse me. Just want to go ahead and get my whole infinite mana started. Hey. Whoa. She's sword resistant. Stop that. Die of swords, thank you. Damn. Finish her. Half of a key tumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. It glints on the floor. Bottom half of the basement key? Edward, you live here. Are you telling me you don't you, you haven't had access to your basement the entire time? Somebody took it and split it in half? And put the two halves in fucking different places? What? What if you need to access the breaker ever? It's one thing for Alex, she just wandered in here today, but you live here! You're like talking about how you... He's, you're thinking about how like, wow, you got completely used to uh, all of your time you've spent in that uh, that one study. You've never been to your own basement? Where is that? Oh, did it run away with, without getting him? He seems fine. That was the, uh, the bedroom with the paintings and the two cabinets. We need to find and kill this guy. Stop that. Stop that. Hey, stop that. Hey, stop that. Stop that, dick. Hello? A Ulyalth monolith. Oh, he's recharging. So that's in the basement. There's a book or something there? Shaken by his brush with death, the servant gives you his thanks. He warns that the creature might still be around, and extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. The gun cabinet! Why did you have the key to that? Were you tasked with cleaning it? But Wait, but if it's locked, you shouldn't have to clean the inside of it. 
because no one can get in, including dust, presumably. <laughs> all the other all the other guns are 2D. I feel like I should be like doling these out to people. Let's go fucking let's go hunting. I have so many potential allies around that are getting that are gonna die too. Mode. This function allows the character to change the fire selector of guns. Oh, new menu option all of a sudden. Elephant gun has multiple menu options. It only f loads two shots. Okay. So the monster was blue, so I want green to fight it. I guess that's the usual, huh? Let's re let's sort of reactivate this before it disappears. Cuz I don't necessarily have a reference for how long it lasts. Oh, but I can't- I can't even go after him. I need the other half of the basement key. So she- so he's gonna just keep recharging and then coming back up to hunt people over and over again, isn't he? Can I just cut to the chase and break this pot right here that is totally where the other one is? Like I'm pre yeah, as I walk around, I can see the seams of where it's gonna break, like, shimmering. Because it's like a pre-broken character model. Not a character, technically, but you know. You know what words mean. You know what intent is. Uh, so he can recharge in the basement, but I can't get to him. Oh, shit, here he is. Where you at, bro? Okay, uh, spell list. Enchant item. Cast. Level 7. Green. Gun. Let's fuck him up! Pargon, 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 Pargon. Where are you at, duder? Not you. The servant's too frightened to move or speak. Oh, right. Spell list, uh, reveal invisible, cast, seven, green. No, not Mr. Gun Safe. Oh, he's fine. Except he won't be in a minute. The cutscenes are a little weird because it seems to imply that he's leaving and not killing that person. But that's what it was said last time. Like, he just vanished last time, too, instead of killing them. Fuck you! Wow, I fucking fell on my ass. I bet this character's not prepared to use this gun. Fuck, I'm trapped in a corner. What? Oh, I beat him. Okay. I thought I accidentally used the door when I was falling over. Shit. <laughs> Somebody give me the key. Oh, I did use the door. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's how you reload. I was trying to talk to that guy. Grateful for having their life spared from the monster, the servant offers a token of thanks. Ah, that is a good token of thanks. Thank you in turn, brah. A Spartan bed, vaguely fashioned after colonial trends, offers small comfort to the weary. It hasn't been slept in in some time. And that, in itself, is a testament to its luxury. What? You can tell that's a good bed, because ain't nobody ever sleeping in it. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Hmm, confirmed. Ah, uh, fuck. How do I find the second half? Does somebody have it, or have I missed where it is? Uh, see invisibles wearing off. I've checked all of my journals.
He's gotta always have your uh, screen green. You'll find something eventually. So it turns out this game does have a new enemy waiting for us eventually. Where is he? Stop that. Oh, I killed the man. Why would you lock on to the person that's not my enemy? Why is- why? Shoot the bad guy, game. Why would you prioritize shooting the person that's not my enemy? Rude. In its desperation to escape from Edward, the vampire s creature drops the top half of the key. There we go. So I didn't have to find it anywhere, I just had to keep winning. Well, now I'm the guy who murdered his own people, so... Things are going well. Admittedly, having a gun designed to fight elephants is a decent incentive to use a gun, finally. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I, I have to fix it still, apparently. Uh, I never had to use any of my liquid courage. Nothing was draining my sanity, and now I have infinite sanity. Oh wait, no. Oh, I forgot about this. If you enchant an item, it repairs it. Right? Ooh, that could have been a dead end for me for a little bit there. <laughs> that's kind of an obscure mechanic. I think we use that in like the first or second level and then never again. So that's an easy to forget mechanic is the fact that your, your, your weapon enchanting spell also repairs things. Wow, he didn't even flinch. And I sure did. Oh, I didn't even heal before I came in here. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, he's actually gonna kill me. Fuck- No, don't be stuck on the stairs! No! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Huh. Oh, I forgot my mana regeneration spell. Wow, I'm still hurt. Okay. I don't have enough. Shit. I forgot. To, I, I lost track of maintaining my, my regeneration spell. Time to do laps. I have an enchanted- so this is- we're just gonna go full melee king now, so we're gonna get health regen on, and I'm just gonna try to smack him to death. So we, first we gotta get out of the staircase before he traps me. I hit the pole. Whoop. No, don't do the fucking kick thing. Fucking pull. How is that blocking my attack? Ah, oh, fucking finally. Ow, shit. Fuck, invisibility wore off. Can I break it? What's the deal? A simple obelisk made from an alien stone sits atop the wall. A runic des uh, design is carved into one side, proclaiming its allegiance. 
I mean, I want to break it, but he keeps attacking me. I can't cast anything. I was hoping that when he was regenerating, I could attack it, but my idiot character was like, I'm just gonna, like, watch this cutscene play out and not react in any way. I'm like, you idiot, that was your chance. Cast your damage spell, break it. Fuck. Is he... Wait, is he dead dead? Oh my god, why does time freeze? Why is it working this way? This is so fucking annoying. So I can't use his- I- what's- I can't weaken him and then use that moment to attack his stupid thing? Why the fuck, man? Why would it work that way? Fine, fuck you. There, I did it. It's so trial and error to find out the game arbitrarily just fucks you over like that for no reason. He literally, like, even in the cutscene, you can tell he freezes. He literally freezes. And why would fucking damage fields not work? You punish me for using damage fields because they just... He's like, nah, this is arbitrarily doesn't work this chapter for some reason. Whatever. Uh, stun lock. No. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. So hard to fucking control. Fuck. Your recovery animation for getting hit is so long, he can just hit you a second time. Half the time. Stop it. Just die. I broke your thing. Die. God damn it. Uh, my weapon enchant wore off, so this is taking absolutely forever. Ah. Uh. Die, die, die. All right, on with our lives. Back to story and exploring the real reason everyone is here. Someone was down here making doors. A double shotgun. Is it also trash? <laughs> like everything else has been? Oh, there's the spell I already figured out earlier. So I gotta say, game, you, uh, you punish me whenever I try to experiment with anything. I was trying to I was trying to experiment with spells more because people kept saying like uh, they're sad I don't experiment with spells enough. But when I try to use spells it makes the game really tedious and frustrating and then half the time my plans don't even work. When once again I can just pivot back to just smacking a guy with my melee weapon forever. And then lo and behold that's what worked ultimately was just me not experimenting at all but just sticking with the thing I've been doing the whole game. So sorry but it's working and nothing else is working. So I'm going to I guess I'm just going to keep smacking people. All those other mechanics don't seem as good as the first one you get. <laughs> Maximilian had not lied. The city was mir miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel. But the thought of what lies inside, the guardians of Ulyoth, makes Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Edward's not even thinking about, like, I, I haven't gone that far down. How the fuck? <laughs> Where is this giant city coming from? How? Ooh, two at once. Okay. All right. All righty. All righty. Uh, spell list. 
cover, magic pool, reveal invisible, magical attack. Ow, shit. Alright, I would have hoped for more results there, honestly. But shit happens. Ah! Alright, shit's empty. Can that reach his head? I, I guess I'm- I guess I'm missing. Ah, I got frozen. I don't know, that was a thing. Fuck, they can freeze me. Fuck, I didn't save. I'm out. Shit. Dude, they're freezing me. That's a thing? So I need a ranged weapon, clearly. Okay, I guess I'll save here. And now we'll go back to slowly regenerating my energy by running back and forth. I hate to be a broken record, I'm sorry, I know I'm just complaining a lot, but like, this is just so much of the playthrough now. I can't escape that, like, a really annoying mechanic is ha just cropping up every 30 seconds for the entire game, all the time now, and it never goes away. It really, like, if it drags, I'm sorry if it's dragging down the playthrough, but it's dragging down my playthrough, too. This has aged the worst of anything in the entire game, to the point where I'm, I'd be surprised if it... Surely people must have thought this was a problem then too, right? Like... It's not like this, there was an era where this was a great mechanic that I can think of. Having everything come from one mana pool that you can't recover in, in any decent way, but you have to cast so much stuff out of it, like, it just seems like so much. Ulioth Pargon, Pargon, Ulioth, Ulioth Pargon, Pargon, Pardon, Pardon? <laughs> Ulioth Pargon. They see me running in circles. Someone decided to put this in the game. Okay. Chant item, cast, level 3, bada bada. Let's try out this motherfucking shotgun. You dead yet? Thank you, kindly. Hello, sir. There we go. I meant to hit reload, but apparently we were in execution territory there. Alright, save every single fight. There's a high risk of death these days. Ooh. Oh, there goes my sanity. Goodbye. Blow off his head. Get some of that sanity back real quick. Is he gonna attack me with this, like the, the, the projectile or something? Okay. Uh, spell list. 
extra magical attack. Assign level seven. No, I meant that one. Fuck. No, fuck. All right, I've got to fix it all now. Uh, reveal invisible, assign... Right. Yeah, to right. And then... Recover... Down. All right. Ow. Shit. You need to stop. Fuck, he's also got a field. Shit, doesn't that attack have infinite range? Oh, he's summoned. Okay, so... Uh, dispel magic, cast, level 7, green. Fuck, he's gonna reach me. But he's also casting a full screen attack? Like, Jesus Christ. All right, this is why we save constantly. I, 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 I don't like I don't like this game's magic system and it became the whole game at some point. Like I just, I don't like it. It's not, I'm not loving it. It's so awkward to like go into a book, press seven menu options, then cast a spell for like 10 seconds straight and hope nothing hits you or the joystick doesn't get bumped and the summon approaching you doesn't hit you and like they don't happen to be also casting a spell that's gonna go off first, that's gonna interrupt it or sometimes things that I can't even explain interrupt it. Like I think it gets interrupted by like the moment where somebody drains your sanity when you'd see them. Like, I think stuff like that that's more subtle also interrupts your spell casting. It's just like, a, it's a lot, man. All right, get, get your spell off. Was that an attack or not? Spell list, damage field, cast. Level seven green. Okay, so that's my defense. Uh, dispel magic, level seven green. All right, she just decided to ignore me and not cast it, which he just does sometimes. I don't know why. Oh boy, the audio. Ah! Uh. I feel like at some point the people that were like, I can't hear it. They, they can probably hear it now. Holy crap. All right, magical attack. All right, now I'm out of energy, so I can run in, I just run in circles. Okay, so that shields. So damage field does protect you. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I need to run in circles a bit until I can do this. What's he doing right now? That's another attack. Uh, what's my quick spell? Magic attack is up. But I think I want to cast a better magic attack. So let's do... Uh, this, this, this is a magical attack. Assign level 7, green, up. He has a fucking field up now. God damn it. My 17 steps of fucking preparation, and then it's like, oh, this field's back that you dispelled. Let's do this. Uh, 
I really hope my weapon enchantment doesn't wear off. Ulioth. Okay, he's cast his barrier. I once again, I immediately forget what my D-pad is assigned to because I change it constantly, which means I can't remember it long term. It's a. Uh, I wish it was on screen, honestly. That'd be helpful. But this game thinks it's being immersive by hiding the interface from me most of the time. But sorry about that. They're just escaping out today. Oh my god, dude. Just fucking pick a spot. Alright, is my weapon still enchanted? Yes. That's all it took? Fuck this game's magic system. Oh my god, every time I interact with it, it makes my life hell. And I can just hit people with weapons. All you people complaining that I don't use the fucking magic system enough, you're wrong. It's trash. It just gets you fucked. The magic system's trash. Spent all this time trying to set up feedback loops like, I got a defense field around me and now I'm gonna counteract him with my attack speed. No, fucking hit him with guns. Hit him with swords. Cast, like, one spell to make your gun swords gooder, and that's it. Move on with your life. All that, whole, everything else in the book, throw it away. Throw it in the garbage. It's a trap. It's a depth trap that looks like a cool way to solve your problems, but it's actually just a way to create bigger problems. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry, but that boss fight... That, that boss fight followed by attempts to use this magic system only backfiring have just oh i'm in a mood right now these plinths look like the ones pious had encountered in the forbidden city where he found the essences of the ancients edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be the umbrella academy a pulsating field of energy emanates from the stone. Should I ever touch the field? No. Because first I should save. So I never have to do that again. <sighs> oh, why, why did you shoot? Alright, time to reload the gun again. Cause I can, you can't reload with a B, you can only reload via this menu. Do I have 75 shots? Holy crap. You can only reload with B when you're empty, but you can reload in the menu at any time. Hello. Goodbye. We are very high up right now. I guess that's like his weakness, so that one? I don't know what the logic is to what I'm doing right now, so I just went with that. <laughs> I'm hearing sound. That's just the rings, right? No, not another one. Okay, quickly before it gets back. Uh, spell list, enchant item, make it green. Of course, this guy's back now. Fuck you. It's actually... <laughs> in a cathartic way, it is kind of fucking hilarious to spend so much time trying to engage with the magic system and then just be like, nope, fuck you, shooting you with guns. And have that be way more effective.
he spends a really annoying amount of time wandering around instead of just moving on with the fight. Uh, spell list, magic pool cast, level 7 energy, or sanity. Oh, he's here. Can't, can't let him cast anything. Okay. I should just use recovery. Nope, not that one. Cast level seven green. Is the crackle gone? Oh no, I'm so sorry everyone. The secret was just to turn down the volume in game. I'm so used to moderating the volume of everything via either the TV setting or the like system settings of the computer. I never changed the game's volume, but out of desperation I did that when I was loading it up after the last death and the crackle seems to be gone. So basically the audio balance is so iffy that it like threatens to like overload the game's acceptable range for audio or something. Oh, sorry. I have to shoot him immediately because he'll. Hey, 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 hey! I already shot you. You don't keep going after I shoot you. Fucking rude. I don't even need the sanity. That was just out of spite. Gotta get back my man and regen. Oh, I really wish I'd realized that was the fix. Shit, we could have had better audio the entire playthrough. Live and learn, I guess. I would have had less of a headache all day because of that boss fight and everything being like an, a solid hour of audio crackle. Oh no. Once again, I, I did a thing and the game ignored me. I don't know why that keeps happening. I go like two menus deep, click on a bunch of things, tell it to do a thing with the thing in the thing. Then it then I it, when I confirm it, it leaves the menu and then I wait and it just never does the thing that I had clicked on. And that is very odd. I don't know what its deal is there. Hit the lever. Uh, so which barrier did I just open? Just all of them? Or is that one still there? He's so out of shape that he can't get around. What's the one at the bottom? All right, my, my meter's full, which means I should be casting something. Level seven weapon enchant is weirdly cheap, isn't it? Okay, so that that brought me back to the main chain. Do not spawn another one, I swear to God. I do not need to fight more of these guys. Uh, are the enemies going to be themed after which symbol I put in each time? <laughs> they gave me such huge areas to run through and his, he just can't handle it. He's so fucking slow and he's immediately so worn out. I guess I already filled that one in. So this one? No, this one. No? What have I done? Um. Can I can I go back? No. Shit. I think I might have been supposed to click on a different one, but now I can't go back. The spires appear to be focusing magical energy from a nearby source. Perhaps if a rune is marked in the spire, it'll affect the flow of magic. Could the spire themselves themselves serve as a circle of power? Uh, 
Um, is it time for another dude, or do I just get to press the lever? Uh, the lever's already pressed. What? Things are redder in here now, though, aren't they? Than they were before? I still came out the same place. I guess the idea is that all I did was change the rune of that one, but I'd already beaten it. So I just have to go do the whole lap again. There was a glowing rune now that I think wasn't there before, so I just wanted to inspect it. But that led to him pressing it, and then I couldn't unpress it. Do I have to... Oh god, are, is each of these another fight? This, this circle is huge. It has like nine, I think? Is there like a specific like thing I'm supposed to be typing into this? Park on power. Okay. So I'm just casting a giant spell. Can't go through that area. Hello, giant tentacle monster. Um, is there anything here? Or is it just a massive empty area? What? Okay, so imagine being eaten by a giant worm. And... That was weird. <laughs> so, him being attacked was in the normal graphic style of the game, but him drinking alcohol was in sepia for some reason? And then it went back to the other thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm doing like a giant nine-pointed power rune. So I'm casting a spell, but in the slowest way ever. It's like they heard me say that the magic system's kind of a pain in the ass, and they made the biggest pain in the ass possible by having it be like, Oh yeah, you want to cast a spell? Well, this time it's going to take about 90 minutes to do. <laughs> It'll be a feature-length spell casting. Have fun. They'll teach you to never fucking speak up ever again. You know what you did. Are there more of them? I guess I can still hear them, yeah. But I don't see any. I should probably be saving more often in case somehow this process kills me. Oh, there was just one more. Looks like it. Oh god, now I'm coming out of the... So it's a big, it's a big nested series of chambers. So some of them are, some of them I have to go through the other chambers to get out through. Okay. Do do do, mix, do. There we go. So we're trying to beat Ulyauth. And his weakness is green. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to want to go back through the central one again and set it to green. Couldn't they at least give me a track star to play as this chapter? 
This guy's seriously gonna have to cover like miles and miles and miles of of distance over the course of this. So yeah, you, if you make a mistake picking which sim which node you want to do next, it straight up you can't change it. <laughs> if you click on anything, that's it. So that's Uliath. So we want. I didn't read it. I didn't read it in time, and I don't remember what the green one's called. Zell something. All right. It's funny because, like, on some level, I can think like, "Oh, they're building anticipation." But, like, they're gonna build anticipation for so long that I'm probably gonna take a break midway through and come back later, which is really gonna break the flow. But, I mean, I didn't know I needed to, like, set aside an hour to properly experience the r run 12 laps around this one temple part of the game in all of its glory. God, I hope I'm doing everything right, because I, <laughs> the hell I have to start over if I'm doing something wrong. Like, if I do this wrong, then whatever fix, like, if I have to change the combination somehow or something, that could potentially mean doing all of it again. By all means, skip ahead. Like, I'll keep this all in for completion's sake, but... You might just want to skip ahead. Oh, here's a fight. Uh, I'm not prepared for this fight. Shit. Uh, that was a blue and a red, so I can't even really enchant it with like their weakness. Red is weak to blue, and blue is weak to green. But if I make it green, then I'll be then I can't defeat the red. So I guess I want to enchant the weapons separately. Like, let's enchant the shotgun with green so I can kill the b blue. Then I'll enchant a different weapon with blue to kill red. Quickly, quickly. Admittedly not the best choice if I want to go quick. Yep. Hello. Fuck you. Nope. And... I guess I don't have to change weapons if it just lets me replace it. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Ah! Enchant weapon cast, level 5, red. Wait, what was he? What was he? He's red. Cast level 5, blue. Is it to say Macklemore? Oh, now I gotta reload. Nope. Wow, it's a big difference between level level seven and level five, huh? Nope. Too late. I was honestly wondering if any more fights were gonna happen, because for a while there, nothing. Alright, it ignored me again. Uh, there we go. There we go. Was it this one? Yes.
We're slowly getting there. We'll be done just in time for Christmas. It's definitely hard to see that, hard to, to look at that portal ring thing that I used to get here and not see it as, oh fuck. Oh shit, we reached the stage where I have to have a plan. Okay, the, so, so far they've only cast Pogrom. Okay, so here you can see all the different parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's probably three more on the bottom then. Yeah, it's probably a nine. Enchant item, recover, reveal invisible, summon trap or dispel magic. Shield, shield, zombies, magic pool, summon horror. Summon horror. Oh my god. That's the one way to get the ending, huh? That'll give you a hell of an ending. Okay. Ugh. Red Grimoire might matter. It's it's an area spell. Ah, uh, reveal invisible to show the evil enemy. Dispel magic. There's also Red Grimoire. Damage field, shield. A lot of these are Red Grimoire. So it's, it's, a Red Grimoire is probably a safe bet. Huh. This was... One above the far left. I'll have to try to... I'll have to see if I can remember which ones have options in them, because those are the ones I'll have to change if I'm wrong. Hello. Uh, I'm rather, unfortunately, already the element that you are, which means I can't hurt you. Okay, let's just run all the way over here. Spell list, uh, da, 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 enchant item, cast, level seven. He's blue, so it's do green. Go. Cool, I love it. All right, let's try this again. Oh, God, he's going to reach me. <sighs> you. Oh, you. Fuck it, I've got 75. Let's do this. Is that good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. Fuck magic. Fuck magic. They give you all these options and be like, look at all these options, you should try them out. And they all make the game... They all, they're traps. Because magic is too hard to use and is not ultimately worth it basically all of the time. So you're best off ignoring the system most of the time because it's a trap. It's like, hey, you want to be really vulnerable and stand still for a long time while using up a resource that you might need later? Uh, and then it gets interrupted half the time before you can cast it. It's like, cool, wow. That was worth the risk. It wasn't. Just fucking use your normal guns and swords. I think we're done with the trappers. Uh, which way was that? Was it the right? The camera doesn't want me to see. There we go. Hey, it's the other side. If I did these in the wrong order, would I be trapped or something? I guess I would just come out into this room. Would there... would I have to then fight the enemies at that point? Like two, like two rooms back to back, I guess? I guess probably, right? That's probably how that works.
poor guy is so tired. Unfortunately, there's no stamina spell, I don't think. Because that's the one he really needs, even though I keep calling the sanity spell the stamina spell. Because I am a fool. Alrighty. That is a good time to save. Alright, back to it. Who's next? So these two are down. Almost missed this one. I missed. I might have to start having a plan soon. But not yet! <laughs> Pargon, 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 Pargon. Pargon, 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 Pargon. I appreciate that they basically incorporated the... spellcasting directly into the narrative and whatnot. Oh, that it's kind of funny that it's just not... It's not the, it's not the most, uh... Comprehensive system. Pargon, Pargon, Pargon. <laughs> like, you hit a point where the majority of each spell is just saying Pargon a lot of times. And so that means that this final spell, instead of being some big interesting spell, is Pargon, 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 Pargon. Is he guys gonna come out at me? Here stand the remnants of a forgotten museum. Perhaps long ago, the alcoves, na alcoves now sealed with the clouded glass would have been filled with the creatures and artifacts of lost Enga. I feel like these are some of these are just enemies I've never even seen before. Have I ever fought a pterodactyl monster? Maybe they're from the other timelines, where you pick a different god. Which, like, if that is the case, maybe that's a counterpoint someone would raise, is like, when I say there's not enough enemy variety in the game, they'd be like, yeah, but actually in the other timelines, but it's like, you, that still isn't enough enemy variety. I just hang up, but if you play the game three times, then you get uh, other enemies, maybe. It's like, well, most people aren't going to play a game three times. But it doesn't change the fact that your each playthrough still lacks enemy variety. Even if comprehensively, over the course of like... Over the course of like... 45 hours, there's eventually a larger number of enemies. That's not still not necessarily enough. I don't think I need to fight these guys, do I? Oh, they're fighting each other. Because they're red, green, and blue. It also reminds me of like feedback about like Final Fantasy Type Zero, for example, where that game had really had a really incomplete narrative, and it was really disappointing and not an enjoyable outcome, and wasn't really compelling. But actually, if you play the whole game again, maybe it'll fill some of those gaps. And it's like I, no, no. That's a real big risk if you want to be like, you need to play the game several times for the full experience. Like, you better have made it as compre- like, as ex as enjoyable as possible the first time around to make somebody really desperately want to play more for the additional stuff. And in the process, you also should have enough gameplay variety and other, other ways of playing it or changes to the additional playthroughs that are sufficient enough that you f don't feel like you're mostly just playing the same exact playthrough all over again. So like in the Final Fantasy case, when the game, w when the narrative was completely unsatisfying, I'm not gonna, like, you you've already failed to convince me that you can successfully tell a narrative, so I'm not gonna turn around and play the game yet again on the faith that maybe it'll be worth it this time. It's like watching season two of a show that had a bad season one. You're like, but it's bad so far, why would I think you would save it later? You got me here already, where the story's bad. 
you did that part. Why would I think this, that the part where you do a next thing is going to suddenly be like this master plan? I think I can just skip these enemies, which actually, like that, that works. Why not? If they're not going to guard the doors. All right, well, that saves me some time. To be clear, that was just talking about Final Fantasy Type-0, not Eternal Darkness. I definitely have my criticisms of this game, but they're not they're not particularly the the narrative. It's definitely an ambitious thing to go for. It's not my favorite kind of narrative because uh, as an anthology, while I do while I do have some enjoyment of anthology storylines, it does feel like we get thrown relatively simple characters and then they get they have relatively few scenes and interactions to flesh them out and then they're quickly thrown to their horrible fates <laughs> and they were like oh no that guy i um uh, what was his name <laughs> like you kind of you, like each character is mostly remembered for like what was their job or whatever or what country were they from kind of but a lot of them come and go so quickly that it's really hard to, to remember much more about them. I appreciate that a lot of them, some of them come up later in various contexts. But to some extent, there's like a recognition of like, oh, that's sad, but not so much like, how do I put it? It's not necessarily a sadness you feel directly because you empathize with that character and remember them so well and, like, are rooting for them, necessarily. Like, that guy really wanted to get to Charlemagne, and he, it's like, um, and he's having a bad time. <laughs> and it's like, it's sad when you see him as a husk later. Oh my god, two of these are still mystery! Alright, so we've hit, we've hit the time where I now have to officially come up with a plan. We, officially. Uh... Okay, so we're casting a spell, and as far as I can tell, every spell in this game so far just has two runes, not counting its element. And then it's then it's Paragon, 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 Paragon. So first guess was pretty straightforward. I didn't have to necessarily have my plan nailed down of what spell I wanted to cast, because I was like, okay, this is clearly an area spell. It's clearly an area spell, because we're casting it on an entire city, so I went for Red Grimoire, which is the area rune. And then every tower I've been to so far since then has been Paragon, 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 Paragon. So now I need to finally come up with what spell I want to cast featuring Red Grimoire. Yeah, Red Grimoire. That's how you pronounce that, or close enough. And this will complete the spell, and that it will be fully selected at this point. Then I go to the final spire and say Pargon again. I think there's I think there's one more. The enchant item is Antwerp Bach. It also doesn't really make much sense for it anyway. Uh reveal invisible might be a thing. Probably not recover or enchant item. Maybe damage field if I wanted to contain it. See, damage field is a somewhat misleading name because it always sounds like I'm gonna put an area of effect damage over time spell on an area. But instead, damage field mostly just means um, there's a force field. So it's a containment spell, which is not what you would think based on its name. Uh, in fact, magical attack, when I see that name, I always think like, oh, that'll be like magic missile. So, and then when you see the name, when you see the name damage field, you expect it to do what magic attack does, because that's an area of effect attack. But there actually is no spell cast attack spell, really. Summon horror feels like something you would do if you want the bad ending. Although in our in our context, we know that quote unquote horror just refers to that particular enemy. But a lot of these Lovecrafty stories end with like a big ritual to summon a great horror. So if I if my goal was to make the Cthulhu come out of the hole or whatever, I'd probably cast Summon Horror, and that'd probably do it. I don't know what Magic Pool would be for. Magic Attack, like explode everything, maybe. Shield, 
Uh, cast shield. Have I just forgotten about this spell? Have I ever cast shield before? Oh, I used it to get across that one hallway. Fuck, this would have come in handy more. There's so many spells I actually lost track of that one completely. Uh, shield is a self-shielding spell, so Red Grimoire doesn't come into play, so it's not relevant to an entire city. So we can we can probably crock, uh, we can probably uh, rule that one out. Everything down here, I don't. I'm not, I, I would narrow it down to magic attack, dispel magic, because obviously you get rid of everything bad, bad. Uh, damage field is a containment spell. And then reveal invisible would be like, haha, there's a great evil here, and I'm revealing it, exposing it to everybody. I don't think that. I don't know. There's like a logical hook there that I could almost see making sense, but overall, I don't think that that's good. Especially since uh, knowing about the Lovecraft shit generally makes it worse. <laughs> The whole point is that you don't want people to know about it, but it does use Red Grimoire. Spell Magic uses Red Grimoire, Nethlek. Damage Field is Red Grimoire, Bamkarok. Magic Attack is Red Grimoire, Antorbach. I think I'm gonna go with Dispel Magic. Nethlek. Just try to keep in mind that this is the location to go to if the spell doesn't work. Oh, I don't know, Nethlek. So it's either that one... ...or that one. I really should have written... I really should have, by now, I should have, like... ...definitively figured out what those two are and spelled- and, like, written them down. Okay, so you're... ...Nethlek Red Grimoire, so... ...new spell... Let's do this this F, this backwards F one. Red Grimoire. That's magic pool. So let's use Pi. Dispel magic. Okay, so Pi is Nethlek. So pick the one that looks like Pi. There we go. I need to do a little healing here. I have a fair bit of of need to help out of all the things right now. Uh, magic pool cast level seven sanity. It is such a relief to have the crackle gone. I am so sad that I did not immediately realize that it's the game clipping. It's the game being too loud because it defaults to maximum volume and the maximum volume value is too high, causing the game to basically glitch out its audio. So if I had turned down the audio, we would have had a whole playthrough without the crackle. I'm so sad. I, I just... A huge stone block marked with bizarre etchings dominated the room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? Or bastardized inter... I almost said internet. <laughs> internment of its loathsome conquerors. I just, I only use the volume settings in a game if I want to rebalance the audio between the different settings. Like, I want the dialogue to be louder than the sound effects or the music, for example. Uh, if I want the game to be quieter, I turn down the TV or my computer itself. No! I didn't even know you were fucking there yet. Shit. Rude. Give me the purple. You can actually, it's a little quality of life thing, but you can actually... Is it gonna give me purple? What? Ha! Huh? Okay, there we go. That was an improbable lack of purple. Who's this dead guy? 
A young man's body lies hunched against the wall of the platform. Blood from the vicious wounds surrounding his face and neck soak the remnants of what appears to be a uniform with a sickly dark red. There we go. There's another one. Be gone, fool! Goddamn trappers. One of them doing it right now? I can't even see them. Please don't teleport me, I don't even know where you are. Oh fuck, he's gonna get me. I just made noise. No. No. Ow. Shit. Doing? Okay. I should probably cast mana regen before I get myself in a, in a trapped here. Is he shooting at me? Nope, he's putting a barrier up. Yeah, so he's gonna be a problem. Maybe not a huge problem, though. Oh, he's summoning now. Okay, so he's blocking the exit, I believe. Or not? Uh... No, I don't think I see anything around here that would be a lever, so I think I do need to go past him to continue. So in this case, he's, he's perched directly in the staircase that I need to continue. Excuse me, rude. I don't have to actually fight him, though. I really can just cast uh, Dispel Magic, level 7, probably level 5, green. He probably, he, I think he, I think, the, I think these guys mostly cast level 5 spells. There we go. Fuck y'all. Wasn't there a trapper here? Did I get him? Oh, oh, he was guarding the lever. I thought that was the exit. I'm very disoriented. <laughs> Is that... Okay, we're good. Paragon, Paragon, Paragon. Ulioth, Paragon. Paragon. <laughs> Not entirely sure what's up with these three pedestals. These plinths look like the ones that Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City. Kind of reinforces the idea that everyone who touches the Tome of the Eternal Darkness inherits the memories of all of the other members of the Eternal Darkness. Or other, other, other previous people, which I guess means that every time Pius shows up to anybody, they all know who Pius is because they experienced that part too. It's the only real explanation that makes sense for why people so easily get used to casting spells. Ooh. Edwards meddling with the arrays has conjured incredible energies that are now building up inside the city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Oh shit. Save. Goodbye, Revoir. I am other Revoir. Or Roivis. Or Ruvi. Oh shit. I have a room to get through. 
Does this field can decay one of my meters or something? It does not seem to. Ah, uh, fuck, there's a barrier. Oop. Hello. <laughs> um, gonna need to find that meter. Uh, lever, not meter. Oh, there it is. You have ineffectively blocked me. I've been training for this moment over the course of hundreds of hours of survival horror games. I can run past virtually anything. Uh, I'm getting very slow, though. Nobody's a track star in this entire bloodline. You think fear would fuel them at some point? Like, most of these characters can handle running for like 20 seconds, it feels like. And it's like, I feel like adrenaline alone would push. No! That, no I'm not fighting three of you guys at once. Fuck you. Thankfully, I all I need to do is run right now. Is this what... Is this the day he dies? Call me crazy, he just looked... He just seemed kind of young. I felt like he might have lived for like way longer, but you know, admittedly, uh, he keeps we keep seeing him as a ghost, which fucks with color. Up, uh, like you can't really tell what color his hair is. I just kind of thought he looked older. And uh, Good job. But yeah, admittedly, oh, 48 years later. So yeah, I, th I think he lived for a while afterwards. Okay. I was gonna say like, I, I guess maybe I misremembered him being old. We, he, I mean, his head was exploded. I don't remember what he looked like necessarily. That's abrupt. After a long wait, he got to live for 48 more years before getting killed in a way where he didn't even figure out what happened.